Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I will be talking about one of your other clinical skills for NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. So let's have a look at today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about one of your clinical skills, which is the new edition from November last year. And I will be talking about the BAL assessment, okay, uh, using the Bristol tool chart. So I'll be talking you through the the station I will be telling you what paperwork you will get in your exam to complete this station and then also what is the step to step guide to complete this station okay so let's get started so this station which is the BAL assessment it is eight minute station in your exam uh, you will be given a scenario so it's a written station uh, you do not have to verbalize anything so it's a completely written station so you will be given a scenario to read and then from that scenario and that scenario will include a picture of the stool sample as well okay so from that scenario you need to work out the type of the stool sample uh, with your knowledge of Bristol stool chart okay and then next thing you need to do is correctly recognize the stool sample like I said and then uh, complete the given documentation so you will be given document to record the type of your stool sample and then date and sign it so you will complete that and then after that you will be asked to write uh, five care or action points uh, action plan points clearly uh, to manage whether it's constipation or diarrhea whatever it is so what kind of uh, care you will give to your patient so you have to write five bullet points to pass the station okay so that's what you have to do uh, so let's look at a little bit more so on next screen you can see the Bristol stool chart so you don't need to know every type uh, but you really do need to have some understanding of this chart so if you look at a is type 1 and 2 that comes under constipation so obviously type 1 is hard lumps and type 2 is sausage shaped uh, but lumpy still so obviously that is definitely clearly that your patient is experiencing constipation uh, then three four five are not normally given in your exam and then we looking at because they're kind of normal so they won't be given in your exam so then we move on to six and seven so six is fluffy loose stool okay but still some solid parts in it and seven is completely watery stool which is like you know severe diarrhea so it will be either so your scenario will be based on either type one and two or six or seven okay so you need to revise that and then next you can see on the screen you will be given a scenario and you can see after that that uh, you can see you are given a document to complete um, uh, where you will add your date time and the type of the stool and your initials and then the next you've been asked to write uh, uh you're proposing proposing your action plan so okay you need to write five clear bullet points how will you prevent either constipation or diarrhea depending on what scenario you have been given and what stool type you have been given in the picture so you will be given a sample of the stool in the pic on the picture and then you have to recognize the correct stool type and that will actually then tell uh, that will actually guide you to write uh, the points whether it's constipation or diarrhea how would you manage that okay so that's what you have to do in full eight minutes uh, so if we look at the marking criteria next set by the test center and then we will come back to our scenario and then we'll complete this okay so let's look at the marking criteria then so the marking criteria if you given stool type one or two so okay if the stool sample on your picture is type one or two then obviously it's constipation so what we can write for constipation and you have to just adapt some of these points to your scenario and write at least five which are uh, you know which are related to your scenario so first thing is uh, consider possible causes isn't it that's the first thing we always do with constipation is look at the causes is a medication is a uh, if it is medication then 
then ex explore alternative potential alternative for medication and second thing is offer dietary advice okay so you will ask your patient to increase uh, fiber intake which is fruit and vegetables and then you can also ask um, the cons uh, doctor to prescribe a laxative for your patient if your patient agrees to it and is needed so doctor can come and review and pres uh, prescribe a laxative so next thing you can think of is increasing the fluid intake because consider dehydration uh, that can be reason for constipation so that increase fluid intake another one is uh, uh, increase uh, physical movement okay if you if it's possible that your patient can move around then you should always encourage physical movement and the next one is uh, not to obviously ignore the urge to go and open your bowels and then the next one will be promote positive uh, toilet habits and then the last one which you can write is that recognize the need to continue to assess bowels okay for me that would probably go in always go in your answer okay because we do need to regularly if somebody has a problem we do need to regularly assess it so if uh, you are given uh, type 6 or 7 which is more on the diarrhea side and loose stool what possible answers it can be okay so this is just a guideline possible answers and then you will look at your scenario and then you will write what's appropriate for your scenario okay so possible uh, causes again look into the cause of loose stool and diarrhea we know a lot of uh, medication can cause it like antibiotics can cause it it could be overflow syndrome it could be certain medical condition uh, of the bowel it can also be uh, caused by infections and viruses so bacteria and viruses like norovirus or clostridium deficit so you 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 can have a look at that in your scenario and then next thing is if your scenario guides you that your patient is uh, uh, experiencing uh, infectious diarrhea it means caused by a virus or a bacteria then you th should think about uh, infection control and you will be writing that you will isolate the patient and you will also send a stool sample to the for culture to the laboratory and the next thing is dietary advice so now because the patient got diarrhea or loose stool we want to decrease the amount of fiber your patient is eating that's your fruits and vegetables and also uh, you can ask the doctor for uh, anti-diarrheal drug but that's only if your patient is not experiencing diarrhea due to um, uh, virus or bacteria if they are having diarrhea due to virus and bacteria we normally don't give uh, any uh, anti-diarrheal drugs okay and the next thing is consider hydration again because obviously if your patient is passing a lot of water in the stools then they do need to uh, you need to encourage your patient to increase their fluid intake uh, perianal skin integrity is really important with diarrhea so that's something you can think about as a point and then also uh, promote positive uh, toilet habits and then uh, again i would say recognizing the need to continue to assess balls is a must okay you should write okay so now let's apply this marking criteria to our scenario so let's look at the scenario quickly so you got a patient here so just as a disclaimer this does not belong to a real patient i have just made this scenario up just for the purpose of teaching again this does not belong to a real patient okay so a patient richard james hospital number is written there is admitted to surgical unit following a need replacement um, uh, seven days ago so the pain post-operative pain is managed by some opioids uh, analgesia and some mix of opioids and simple analgesia okay Richards has informed you that he has been feeling pain when he's passing stool and it's been quite uncomfortable uh, so that's what just the main things in your scenario so that give you some guidance what kind of points you can write okay so the next thing uh, now is been uh, you've been asked to do a bile assessment and complete the paperwork as per NMC guidance okay so let's look at the answer now so first thing is we're going to complete the document so we know from the picture and you've been given a picture 
uh, stool type picture on your scenario. So given uh, looking at the picture we know is type 1. So we're going to complete our chart, for our documentation first. So the date and time within the scenario. So date is your exam date, time is what's given in the scenario and then we will write the stool type. So either you can tick under stool type 1 or you can just write again type 1 okay and then you need to go along uh, and then you in the comment section if your uh, scenario says something about the mucus or blood in the stool you can write it otherwise just leave it blank and then add your initials at the end okay so that's the documentation complete now we need to write our points okay so the care plan points so that's what I have written for this scenario just to giving you as an example so I say I will advise Richard number one to increase physical activity like walking uh, I will advise Richard to increase fluid intake I will advise richer to increase fiber intake like vegetable and fruits uh, I will also explore the reason underlying cause in Richard case it it looks like from the scenario it may be opioid analgesia because we know opioids can cause constipation uh, so check with medical team I will check with medical team for alternative analgesia if possible okay and the next thing is refer to medical team for prescription of laxatives if uh, required uh, if we have done everything else and it's not helping then we can think about the laxatives here and then the next thing is I will continue to assess bowel movement for Richard okay so that's what six I have chosen according to my scenario here to write uh, from the possible answers okay so you need to write at least five I've just written six because you know I could manage that in the time so that's what it is so okay so that's that's how you need to do the station and that will be the end of the station and end of your writing so top tips uh, not many uh, it's a written station so your handwriting has to be clear okay and legible that's the number one number two is just get a good understanding of the Bristol stool chart okay number three is uh, you know uh, just complete your documentation correctly don't forget to add the date and time things like that okay just go through the whole row and complete everything needed and tip number uh, four will be just uh, that you know your marking criteria learn name but on that day adapt it to your scenario okay so it's really important that you adapt your answers to your scenario so these are my top tips so I hope you like this video if you do like the video please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com we do online and both online and face-to-face -face training and also we do certain modules if you just want to cover your API and all your practice your clinical skills we can do that as well so give us a ring and uh, I will see you soon with another video bye for now